Hey everybody, welcome to the episode of Widgets and Wonders. We're gonna be checking out today top-down terrain um, and the display stages that they make for Infinity. Now these can be used for any science fiction sort of high-tech glossy looking game, um, but they are clearly designed with Infinity in mind. Um, and that being said, with uh, sort of a, a leaning towards being immersive. So a little bit about top-down terrain, they are, if you were to look up a mom and pop shop, uh, Chris and Natasia Matthews would probably fit the definition. It's just the two of them. And last fall, they decided they wanted to take the plunge into infinity um, and being creative, decided they were gonna start making something to go along with it. Um, and this is sort of the definition of a cottage industry. They're making two things. There's uh, two stages. One's called the Shadow Defiant. The other one's called Orion's Tide. Um, and both of these are designed to be a thing that you can have your models displayed on. So when you're either putting them on the shelf there's a vignette now that your models are in. Um, or if you're taking them to a tournament, it both provides you with bases, so MDF bases for you guys to stand on, and a nice handy display board. It's even got handles for you to carry it around. So enough of me talking about it. Let's actually look at it. I'm gonna show you. Um, I believe this is the Shadow Defiant one. This is the sort of, uh, the, the, of the two of them, I'm maybe mixing it up. <laughs> but uh, we'll take a look at my Yu Ching army, which I've rebased and actually put on the display base um, and I think look very, very sharp. So uh, let's have a look at this display stage is what they call it um, from Top Down Train. All right, and here is the display stage. And what a stage it is. Now there's some empty circles here, which I will be filling up. I actually have a ton of unpainted Yu Ching stuff I need to finish. I have remotes. Um, I have the heavy infantry guy that transforms, the little transformer dude. And I will save one of these big bases for the new Gujus when it comes out, because we've seen a render now for a new Gujus, which I think would be awesome. Um, so conveniently, uh, it, it, he sent to be painted. He wanted to you know paint it better than I can, which I completely understand. Um, and, uh, and sort of have it sort of look the way he envisioned it looking. So all I do is pop my guys off their bases and rebase them on here. Um, but each one he had alphabetized, and this is a really smart idea. If you're gonna have um, the, the, the models come off, have them go back where they're supposed to go, because otherwise you'd lose your mind trying to figure it out afterwards. Um, and what's beautiful about it is they just sit flush right with the table. So there's my Yu Ching coming down this elevator. I can just imagine how cool it's gonna look when there's robots and stuff too. Uh, but the designs line up perfectly. So you can see the designs are all painted on. And when you're done, they line up. So everybody's got their place, basically to hang out on this cool sort of elevator deck. Um, there's an elevator descending. There's a bunch of sort of like hazard stripes and signs and lights and stuff as well. And this is just done with some simple airbrushing. I, I shouldn't say that I couldn't have done this. I could definitely have done this, but um, uh, you know, Chris was very nice and basically sent it to me so I didn't have to do the extra work. He acknowledged my stay-at-home dadness and that this would be a project that he would get to see on video quicker <laughs> he did it himself. Um, and yeah, and the handles here you can see on the side, so that they look like windows, but they're actually what you pick it up by. So it's about a, a one foot square, 12 inches by 12 inches, and my Yu Ching army probably just going to live on this for now. Um, the bases themselves are flush, so they, they fit nicely on the table when you take them off. Um, they don't bang around, I just pan the lips and stuff, and they're all already alphabetized, so that they sit nicely where they want to be when they're on the table. They look just like infinity bases, they're the same profile and height, so there's no problem there. Um, and I'm super excited about it. Uh, my Yu Ching army, the only problem I have with this now is that I've basically, I gotta I have to make very hard decisions about who's gonna be in my Yu Ching army from now on, because I'm almost at a small basis. So I have Sun Tzu with the boarding shotgun I'm gonna paint and add on. Um, I have a mech engineer that I'm gonna paint and add on, and I've got two Yao Zaos I need to paint as well. And then I've got like one more spot for somebody, I think. Uh, I've got my remotes I'm gonna paint. I have a heavy support, um, Zhu Yong. The, the guy with the rap, hyper rapid magnetic cannon, which is the most fun gun name ever to say. And then um, I've got my transforming heavy infantry. I can't remember what it's called. shang -Chi, I think. No, shang -Chi's this little guy over here with the fins. Um, it's the, the I don't remember his name, transformer bot that goes from a 40 mil base to a 55 mil base. So I have two 55 mil spots. One will go to Gujus when he eventually shows up. The other one will go to that guy as he transforms. He goes into a bigger base. So there is my Yu Ching army on a top-down terrain display stage. I believe this one is Shadow Defiant. So very, very pretty. So there you have it, guys. Another niche product from a very small company. Just two folks, husband and wife, um, making a very cool product that's serving the Infinity community and tournament player scene, I hope, very well. Um, if you haven't seen one of these before, you can order it from their online store. The link will be in the video description below. So just click below. Um, you'll be able to go and check them out for yourself. Now, if you're just looking to buy a whole bunch of bases that happens to come with a cool display board, or if you're looking to buy a display board that happens to come with a whole bunch of cool bases, this is a great place to start. Um, and if you do go to a lot of events or tournaments, 
moments, or you just want something really neat to put on your shelf that's going to display your army for you, I think this is a very cool product. And I've never seen anything like it. I mean, I've seen display boards before, but I've never seen one that basically took you into a cool little room in Infinity and looked like it was telling a story. So I'm super excited that I have one for my Yu Ching. Um, big thanks to Chris and Natasia for just signing this to me out of the blue. Um, and I hope you guys have all the success in the world. I think you are making a very cool, unique product that I hope a whole bunch of people buy and check out. So good on you. Uh, we'll see you for more Widgets and Wonders in the future. Thanks again, guys. Um, if you do think you know of a company that's not getting enough attention that could be put in the spotlight and show off some really cool stuff, um, you either send me a message on Facebook. You can send me a message on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash out of the basement in the streets. You can email me at girlminiaturegames at gmail.com, um, or you can put a comment below and hopefully I'll see it. So thanks again. I hope you guys enjoy more in this series on cottage industry and indie game products. Until then, happy to